Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we're going to be checking out a new keyboard by Warmia. It's called the Warmia WK61 right here. So this is the box and it's going to be launching at around 40 US dollars and it's going to come with pudding keycaps stock from the box. So I think that you guys are going to like this keyboard, especially those who like RGB. So a huge thank you to Warmia for sending this over. Without further ado, let's unbox and review this keyboard. In front of the box right here, we can see the Warmill logo and then we have the name of the keyboard WK61 and you have a teaser for the outline of the keyboard right here. On the front and the side, it just says www.warmillchannel.com which is the website where you can go and download the information and software about this keyboard. And on the back, we have the again the lineup of the keyboard which is a 60% lineup with uh, pudding keycaps. It looks pretty good. And of course, more about it. And we have a QR code right here to scan if you want to go to the website. And that's everything around the box. I just want to say that the version I have right here is called the Glacier Blue version, but they also have a black, Phantom Black version and a Tiffany Blue version, which are also looking pretty nice in this kind of colorway. Now let's unbox it. So in the box, you get the user manual for the Warmia WK61. And inside here, we have a few information which you can take a look at. You can pause if you want to read, which includes the features of this product, uh, what's included in the package, and of course, the system comments where all the functions and shortcuts are. Or you can also go to their website and download the software and configure it yourself. Other than that, you also get some extra pudding keycaps in a slightly different color so you can configure the keyboard to how you like it. There's only a few pieces right here so you can play around with the color combination. And in the box, you also get a type A to type C USB cable, pretty standard cable to be included. And you also get these two things, one plastic black keycap puller and a metal switch puller. And of course, you get the keyboard itself inside the box. Now let's check it out. So this is the front of the keyboard right here of the Warmia WK61. As you guys can see, it is a 60% layout and it does come included with these pudding keycaps. And of course, you can see the white and the glacial blue color right here. And they do include some darker blue if you want to make it more accented or look better with the color contrast. And on the top of the keyboard right here, we can see the Type-C connection port in the middle. And it does use this kind of transparent kind of plastic all around the keyboard as the case. This is the side profile of the keyboard. I believe it uses OEM keycaps, so it is a little bit higher than Cherry profile keycaps. And this is the front, so it's just again this plastic all around with no logos whatsoever, really nice. And on the back of the keyboard, you can kind of see through to the inside of the keyboard because of this like translucent case. And of course, you get the four non-slip rubber feet and the sticker in the middle. Let me just plug it in and show you guys the case and the RGB on this keyboard. Okay, so I just plugged it in. This is what the keyboard looks like with the RGB on. Honestly, it looks pretty nice and the RGB is pretty bright and that shine through well on these pudding keycaps. And this is the back of the case right here. You can kind of see a little bit of the RGB shining through and it's quite awesome of a design in my opinion. And now let's take a look at the other components of the keyboard like the switches, keycaps and stabilizers. And then we'll open it up and see what's included inside this keyboard. So as I said before, this keyboard does come with some pudding keycaps straight out of the box from the factory and they do come really nicely packed inside the box and you do get some extra like in this dark blue color. So overall, they do feel pretty good and the printing and labeling is pretty sharp and the RGB does shine through really nicely on this keyboard. So this is pretty nice to see if you're a lover of RGB or just love pudding keycaps, this is a nice addition. I particularly like this fish one so the RGB actually shines through the fish right here. And as for the switches included in this keyboard, they come with some linear red switches. So these are some Otemu red linear switches. They do come stock and they are a little bit scratchy out of the box. But for this price point, I can't really complain. They are pretty good and they get the job done just as a normal keyboard right here. And while we are at the topic of switches, this PCB does come with hot swap sockets. And it is 5 pin hot swap with no facing RGB LEDs. And as for the stabilizers in this keyboard, they come with some stock OEM stabilizers which are pre looked from the factory. But I gotta say these stabilizers are really bad and rattly. I would recommend you switch them out for a better experience. Now let's actually remove the keycaps and switches and see what's inside this keyboard. So 
So I just open up the keyboard and it does appear to be very hollow. The case is indeed just plastic and there's no foam or any sound dampening inside. But this is a little bit of an interesting PCB. It does come with a daughter board right here. So it connects this daughter board to your PCB and that's actually how it communicates with the computer and that is really nice. And this is a closer look at the PCB of this keyboard. So as you guys can see, it is 5 pin hot swap with north facing RGB LEDs. One thing that surprised me because this keyboard is quite cheap at 40 US dollars is that it uses Kale hot swap sockets for each of the sockets right here. And that is really good because Kale has a good reputation for these hot swap sockets. So that is basically everything in the keyboard. All you get is the PCB, the plate right here with these pretty bad stabilizers and of course a daughter board and the case. So I recommend you should form the case and change out the stabilizers. But this is just an unboxing and review so I'm just going to reassemble everything and we can move on to the software and sound test of this keyboard. And as for the RGB lighting, all you have to do to cycle through all of the built-in ones is to hold the function key and the backslash key and you'll see all of the built-in lighting effects. And the other functions are also all written on the keycaps for easy access and readability. And as for the software for this keyboard, all you have to do is just head over to their website, download and install it. And in the software, you can configure up to three profiles of the keyboard, change up the macro settings, which I think is a little bit complicated. And of course, configure the light inside the keyboard of the lighting and effects. And you can also reset the keyboard through this software. Now let's move on to the typing sound test to see how this keyboard actually sounds like. So sadly from the typing sound test, you can actually hear that this keyboard is quite hollow and it has a lot of spring ping and metal ping when typing. It's not the best typing experience, especially with acoustics. So if you're a person who likes RGB, this is definitely a good keyboard, especially with those pudding keycaps. It definitely shines and it's really bright. And with all the color options, I think that it does look pretty good. But if you're more of an acoustic person and you like the talk or the, like the clackiness of the keyboard, this is not a great sounding board. If you want to get this, you can. I just recommend you actually mod the case a little bit and change out the stabilizers to make it sound a little bit better. So this Warmia WK61 is currently going on sale for around 40 US dollars. It's a pretty good starter board in my opinion. And again, a huge thank you to Warmia for actually setting this out for me to check out. So leave a like on this video if you liked it. Dislike this video if you didn't like it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I have even more mechanical keyboard content coming really soon. And as always, thanks for watching. Goodbye, guys.